All right, come on, 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 come on. As one crook check, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Let's get into this, man. Come on, look. I'm recording this. Recording this April 9th, 2024. Okay, the day after the University of Connecticut has won their second straight national championship in college basketball, men's college basketball. They've won it two years in a row, all right? Yet, yet, the national headlines going into that game was the fact that Coach John Calipari and the University of Kentucky have parted ways. That was like the big, big breaking news of the day. Not anything about the actual game itself, but an individual like John Calipari, big name like John Calipari, who's said to leaving a program has sent literally hundreds of players into the NBA has gotten, you know, there's, there's, I'd say it's a high percentage, a large percentage of the players in the NBA have come out of the University of Kentucky and big, big blue nation, the Wildcats, the whole thing, you know, they're one of the blue bloods, one of the programs that have built what used to be a great game, what used to be a game that you can really look forward to because of how the teams were built and how, you know, just the lessons that you learned in basketball, the teamwork lessons, the just the loyalty to your university and the way you put your heart and soul to, into your university and just do whatever it is you can to get your education while playing basketball, the whole thing, the loyalty aspect of all that that's what college basketball used to be yet the head what has what it's become has become a watered down product where it's just business the business of college basketball taking over right so let's get into this man because i don't i don't think it even got mentioned and i listened I, although i didn't listen to everything the entire reaction i listened to some of the mainstream media some of the takes that they gave on coach calipari who decided to leave the University of Kentucky for Arkansas, a team that's in the same division, guys, They're in the same exact division, which which is what makes this so crazy, in my opinion. And what didn't get mentioned, I didn't hear anybody else talk about this, so I have to talk about it, is the fact that just five years ago, it became, it was national news. It was a national headline. It was a huge story. The fact that Coach Calipari signed a lifetime deal. They signed a lifetime deal with the University of Connecticut I mean, with the University of Kentucky and to look up five years later and he's leaving the University of Kentucky for Arkansas. I, I, again, no one actually knows the truth about the situation, but John Calipari and the athletic director and the president, no one, everybody can give their thoughts, their opinions. Everybody may know these individuals personally, but when it comes to the truth is Calipari, there's the AD of Kentucky and there's the president and whatever got said between them two, Hey, that's what got said. But what I can tell you is it's just a bad look, man. This is just bad. It's a bad look for the sport. It's a bad look for just basketball in general because what exactly i mean what exactly do you tell a young recruit coming up what exactly do you tell them about the sport when you have guys this is what happened within the five year span you have a guy who signs a lifetime deal and then five years later he leaves the university for what whatever the fucking reason is the bottom line is there's no more loyalty your word means less i mean it's re it's crazy and crazy thing about it is Half the conversation wasn't even about Kentucky winning the championship. I mean, there's already rumors. There's already rumblings. There's already things that are being said, which are very, very viable things that are being said. Very tr truth uh, things that can't be denied. Things that are credible is the word I'm looking for. Very credible sources who are coming out already saying, look, Dan Hurley could be getting, could be the next coach, could be the next coach for the University of Kentucky. So he just takes his team, he just takes his team to two national championships, win two national championships, and already his name is being, is being brought up for the job at the University of Kentucky. And this is not unlike, this is not something that we haven't seen before. In fact, you got to remember, it was, it was, Roy Williams was at Kansas University before he took the job at North Carolina. I remember actually that watching that game, but when, you know, they had just lost, they just lost the Final Four and they asked Roy Williams about the North Carolina job. And he's like, whoever's asking you, who's ever telling you to ask me that at this time is a very, you know, cold hearted person, is a person with no empathy in the whole thing. And at the end of the day, look, he took the North Carolina job and became a legend at UNC. Understand this, all right? And here's the point. Here's the main thing that 
we got to understand about this game and everything that that we see going on and this is again i, ha I feel like i've had the same conversation when it comes to, co to college football and i'm having the same exact conversation when it comes to men's college basketball understand the importance all right parents future recruits understand the importance of being your child's manager figuring out a way to get yourself a solid education solid education and that doesn't even necessarily mean you if it means look if it means you deciding i don't want to even waste time with this ridiculous mess this bullshit that they call college basketball where you get coaches jumping ship every year and i want to go play overseas for a couple years learn the business of being a professional maybe do some school in maybe do some school in part-time and do you know get a trade while i'm playing overseas and then cry out for the nba whatever it is if that's what you look if that's what you look at as being educated hey go for it because again this college basketball thing has become so watered down so just i mean it's it's an eyesore for fans people like me again who grew up in the dmv grew up watching basketball my entire life watching it. i was a georgetown fan i'm a maryland guy man we watched lonnie baxter juan dixon you know steve flake all them boys get a championship watch the John Thompson's of the world man and now this this bullshit that we're watching it, it just it's hard to stomach it's hard to see again five years ago it's national news I mean Forbes did an article about it the entire I mean it we, he said it it's on camera I could pull up the YouTube clips for you right now where coach Calipari and the University of Kentucky seem to have a lifetime agreement in which he's gonna be there coaching for a lifetime and to look up five years later and you abruptly you and the announcement comes out the day of the national championship when we just watched the women's tournament we saw a group of young girls from iowa loyal girls and see what they did for their their community did see what they did for their university the pride that they restored back in their university both iowa and south carolina the whole thing and then we got to watch the men's game and see this kind of bullshit where everyone's jumping ship and you know a guy wins a championship and all of a sudden you're talking about him taking another job and again it's it's something that is very it's something that is very possible that can happen uh, it, it it's just an eyesore for the people who love the game love the teamwork elements of the game love the loyalty elements of the game the things that drew us to the game of college basketball in general is the are those elements and to see what it's become over the years I, i'm telling you it's something's got to be done this name it, it's why i do the work i do it's why i put out the books i put out it's why i talk about the things in the way i talk about them to the point where again i am not opposed I, i'm going to make sure i'm on record saying this i am not opposed for players and coaches is getting their money but there has to be some buy-in there has to be something in which ties these people financial ties these players financially to a university therefore the whole thing doesn't just fall apart because players are just simply following what their coach is doing they're following the money they're following you know they're following what they're learning from the coaches and from the people who are supposed to be guiding them in the right direction and we don't have enough structure in place to make it so these young recruits coming out who are being told how great they are who are being told how talented they are who are being pressured with questions about going pro going to the nba all that other bullshit we don't have enough of a structure in place to make it so these young men and women nowadays now because that's what they're trying to turn the women's game into but we don't have enough structure to where these young men are saying look i'm staying grounded i want to stay in my university i want to learn this degree i want to get I'm going to get an internship doing this. I'm going to go learn some business doing this. No, I'm teaching them to just be a basketball player. And if they make it, they make it to the league. They make it to the league. If they don't, fuck it. Move on. You know, their education is no longer going to be paid for because we got to replace you. All right. That's what we're saying. That's the system we have in place. And I'm here to improve it as your one and only move swiftly speaker. So some thoughts on that. And I have a whole lot more on this as it comes out, as you know, we start to see the situation because now college basketball is over You know, the season's over. And now we're going to get into the NBA and the play playoffs and all of them we're gonna see how these dominoes actually fall all right so stay tuned for all that stuff it's playoff time is it's we have basketball season baby we have basketball season and you already know but you already know i'll be here guiding you along the way throughout the entire process all right main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work makeyourmove.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com one-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs as one crookshank your one and only move swiftly speaker checking out you guys continue to move swiftly we will talk more soon